Today, we're going to see how long it takes to make 1 million silver with skinning, but instead of being a new character, we're going to be doing it on a tier 8 gathering set with tier 8 Avalonian tools, with journals, with the pork pie, with all the good stuff. Now, one thing to note, we do not have premium active. This would be much faster, 50% faster actually, if we did have premium. But, just to let you guys know, I did make a video like this a while back for new players. It looks like this. It's called The Safe Way to Make 1 Million Silver Solo for New Players in 2023. And this video is 4 hours 48 minutes long. And it starts a character from the tutorial, completing the tutorial, getting skinning gear, and making their first million silver. It took 4 hours and 48 minutes for a brand new player to, to do that. So, I was just curious, well, what about an established player? Now, I'm not just going to be skinning, I also have harvesting and mining here with me also, but generally I'm only going to grab uh, enchanted nodes. Now, I do want to note that um, I'm going to do this completely one take, no cuts, no edits, no fancy smancy stuff, and we're going to start the timer when we eat the pork pie, which, uh, let's just go ahead and eat it. There we go. And uh, the, uh, <laughs> the game begins. I'm going to be skinning all the animals that I come across, and to speed this up, if I get baby drops, if I get tome drops, that will massively speed this up. Now, uh, for profits, I'm going to count filled journals as part of that profit. I'm not going to count the theoretical 72 hides that I would get from the journals, because I do turn my own journals into laborers. I don't sell the journals, uh, so I technically get more from the journals than what I'm going to value them at in today's video. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And also, do note, like I said, I am full tier 8 gathering uh, in, well, everything except fishing. But we're not going to do any fishing. This is a skinning video. This is going to be a rather long one. I'm estimating, I'm going to call it now, it's about 1 hour and 30 minutes. So we're going to see how long it truly takes. And you'll note that uh, I am killing all of the mobs in just about one hit. Uh, because uh, of the hide animal poison, the armor that I'm using is an 8.4 Skinner Garb, meaning this deals tremendous amounts of hide poison damage. Very, very useful for what we're doing in today's video. And um, hopefully I can keep up the pace. It is a little bit distracting to be constantly talking and recording. And looking at my recording software and stuff like of that nature. Uh, also, I don't know how many people are in this zone, but it looks like this guy is possibly... I don't know what he's doing, but he ran over here and then he mounted up. A little odd behavior, but okay, whatever. Looks like a real player to me. Named like a real player. Sometimes there are bots, though why didn't he just right over here? Like, I, surely he's skinning. But like I said, if we get tome drops and we get baby drops, especially from these giant stags, then uh, we will definitely hit that 1 million very, very quickly. However, that's total total luck. Also, if we can control 4.3 spawns, that will be another really big way to make that money so much faster. Uh, now, also, do note there's 9 people in the zone which is not really a lot. I am playing during off hours. It is technically 4 in the morning UTC, so there's really not a lot of players. I should be able to do this without going back due to my carry capacity. Not entirely sure on that. It really depends on uh, what I get and what I kill. Now, if for whatever reason I um, there's too many people in the zone, uh, like I said, I am taking enchanted nodes, so like that, uh, that fiber was 1.4k, so I will be taking that. And I could just technically take everything. I might have to if I have the zone to myself. I can technically farm the entire map so fast that the stags don't even grow back to full, uh, to full yield. But if this map gets populated with a lot of other skinners, which it tends to do because I have made several videos on this specific area, this is Sandgust Cleft, this is east of Bridgewatch. This is one of the newly opened areas on east uh, that is right next door to a high yield zone. So we'll just go to the high yield zone and farm there if too many people are here. Because I'm starting to learn that one as well. But I like to do a full lap around of this zone at least. And I didn't finish harvesting that one. Just so, um, you know, we can stay consistent and stay moving. Normally I don't like to stop for just two mobs. But um, I'm just going to stop and, and skin everything because... That's what I would normally do. Like, if I'm just chilling and watching anime and watching movies, I don't min-max my skinning. I just, oh, look, mob, I'm going to boop it. It's going to die. I'm going to skin it. I'm going to boop it. It's going to die. I'm going to skin it. And I just repeat that while I'm binging whatever there is to watch. And uh, speaking of, I have completely run out of anime to watch. So if you want to leave me a nice anime suggestion, please feel free to do so. I would be very gracious. 
Um, the last person to suggest an anime, it was okay, but it was a little too family-friendly. You know, like, there wasn't really any blood or guts or romance or anything. It was just, oh, I'm a, I'm a kid in a new world, and I have slimes, and the slimes clean toilets. And, uh, look, it was a wholesome anime, but it, it just wasn't really for me, okay? So I thank you for the suggestion, but, uh, it, it's, it didn't really feed the, the hunger, I suppose. Now, sometimes my hide poison does run out, but that's okay. I'm using a tier 6-3 fire staff. I might max this out. I don't know. It's, um... The reason I'm using the fire staff uh, is because I can steal 4.3 mobs from other players a little bit faster, though uh, I don't know if that's going to hold up next patch. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see about that. Not really sure, but uh, I might I might upgrade this to 8.4. I, I don't really need to, but I do have a lot of money burning a hole in my wallet right now. 103 million and I have 38,000 uh, gold which is enough to buy one year of premium, which I'm not going to do, by the way. I'm totally not going to do that. That would be a huge waste, because I've got other games to play, man. i got to play other stuff, too, every once in a while. Especially Diablo 4. There's a Diablo 4 beta coming out soon. And, uh, oh, speaking of Diablo 4 beta, if if anyone really wants to gift me Diablo 4, because that's it's an expensive game. It's probably, like, 70 bucks. If you if you want to gift it to me, uh, my battle.net ID is soulbinji number sign one one eight seven, and I I think I bypassed a um, enchanted mining node back there. I'll get it next time. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna turn back for it. It's not that much. I don't have metal gathering gear equipped, so it's not gonna earn me that much. It looks like there is a skinner up here currently working this this section. You know, it's like. Uh, you know, we're out here working, we're out here making a living and stuff, and uh, I don't want to intrude on his part of the map. Mainly because if I empty his part of the map, he's going to start seeking other parts of the map, whereas I can just I can just work the rest of the map, right? You don't want to work the same streets as your homies, because then, uh, you know, you'll start infighting with them and stuff. I, I don't know what I'm saying, but ooh, that's 4.2. We'll make a note of that real quick, where that is. And how many uh, yields? That's two. Okay, that's not bad. But we really want to find the point three, if there is one on that. Sometimes there aren't. It's completely and entirely based around luck. There is a 4.1 over there as well. Also, I can re- like, with a weaker fire staff- Oh, the marmot tanked it. With a weaker fire staff, I can- I can hit these from a distance and pull them closer without just instantly killing them. So that's kind of handy, but, uh, <laughs> if a marmot walks in the way, then it's, uh, you know, obviously it doesn't work. Let's go ahead and skin. And sometimes I'm going to harvest a few of these regular resources too. Like, if I ignite a bunch of enemies, then I'm going to grab some, you know, plants while I wait for them to die. So let me show you an example. So we're going to tag this one and then this one, and then we're going to mine this until they die. There we go. And uh, <laughs> so now that they're dead, now that I can skin them. And that's just being a little bit more efficient with our gathering. It's, it's not that hard. Now... My inventory started at 3.91 estimated million. We're at 3.98 estimated million. Not a lot going on right now. No baby drops, no tome drops. We filled 10 journals. That is 720 tier 2 hide, which um, I, I haven't done much tier 2 yet. Not really a lot of stags on this map. This map is mostly for targeting the tier 4 mobs. Uh, I do have another map where I do hunt the tier 2 impalas. So... Might, we might go there later. I don't know. Sometimes I get bored. Sometimes I like to change maps. We will see. I like, see, this is a nice little grab right here. We got, what was that, four? And then a tier three. And I, I have, um, unlike that other video where I'm a new player on an ox, I can actually leave the radius of this boar because the boar will give me carry weight regardless if it's summoned or not. I don't have to have it out. It's just mainly a, a safety issue, like if a faction flag player rolls up on me. And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're out here skinning, and we've only been skinning for eight minutes, and we've already filled ten journals. That's 720 tier two hide. Those things go for, like, 40 silver each, so that's 40, 12, 16, I don't know, that's at least 20 or 30,000 silver. Easy, you know? <laughs> Not even counting, and wait till we get baby drops, wait till we get tome drops, if we do. Who knows? I don't know. I can't predict the future, but hopefully we do. So the video's not super long, but maybe the video will be extra long. Maybe I'll have terrible luck and people will steal all of my uh, 
tier 4 spawns, and I still have to find the tier 4 spawns. I want to mention that I did not pre-scout this. Uh, I am simply... I just came here today. I haven't skinned here in a few days, so... I know the whereabouts of most of the time where they spawn. That's just knowledge of knowing the maps. But no no actual guarantee that um, they'll be there. Like, there could be a huge cluster here in the middle, and I won't know until I go scout it out. That's just how it is. And that is a 4-2 dungeon. That's nice. See, this is just a really nice pool here. We got a lot of mobs that we can just yoink at once. Grab all of them. Try to grab this one in the distance. He's going to run towards us, and then we poison him there. And look at that. That is just, uh, that is just great. <laughs> just tons of resources, and like I said, I do not have premium active. If I did, I would be getting 50% additional yield on each and every one of these. So what that means is that if I could harvest 30 hides with, um, with premium, I would be harvesting 45 instead. Essentially, it's like every two enemies that I skin, I would get one free with premium. That's how extreme it is. That is why it's very important that you gather with premium when you can, while you can. Uh, gathering without premium is very detrimental to your free time. It is not recommended, not one bit, not not at all. Sometimes I will stop and I will, gil I will kill just the one mob here. And the reason for that is because I can refresh my hide animal poison. So if I do come across a large pack of enemies, I will have that charged up and ready to go because if I show up to a big pile of, say, giant stags and I don't have hide animal poison active and another player does, he's going to get all of the tags and I'm not going to get anything. Unless I can group them up and pyroblast them down quick enough, I simply won't, like, I just lose resources. So you want to really make sure that, oh, there's our first baby dropped. Uh, that is a 50k bonus. And uh, that was only, what, 11 minutes into our skinning session. Very nice. So, like I said, we're having hide animal poison up at all times in case we have to do a little gathering PvP, so to speak, right? And I don't mean fighting someone, I just mean fighting someone over the resources. Alright, so we're gonna go to this side of the map. Sometimes it's densely populated with animals, sometimes it's not. I don't really honestly know if I should even stop for the tier 3 animals, but I'm gonna do it anyway because, like I said, when I'm playing casually, I don't, I'm not tryharding, I'm not, like, going full effort mode, I'm just, ooh, I see animal, I click animal, I skin animal, I get paid. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's not bad, it's, it's, it's a great little gathering game, uh, something to do, and my hide animal poison did run out there. This guy is clearly also gathering in tier 8, and he's probably gonna stop and look at me for a bit. Also, I like to check these for tome drops, that's tier 2 helmet. Don't really want that. You could leave them on the ground, and uh, hopefully it stalls another player out to see if they inspect it or not, but um, most of the time they don't. So that guy was stopping and looking at me, so I don't know if he's going to move on to a different zone because he doesn't want to intrude. Some pe Sometimes people feel that way. They, they, they feel, I don't know why, but they feel like this is my zone. Like, I, I own this area or something. And when they see me, they just leave. Either they don't want to compete against me or... Maybe they have respect for my videos, and they're like, Oh yeah, so Benji's here, skin, and I'm, I'm gonna go somewhere else. You know, I'm gonna let him have the, the field for a while. It's like, I, guys, I don't need the money. I'm doing this for a video, to, to compare and show you guys how much faster you can skin 1 million silver compared to a brand new account. Hey, big fan of your tequorials. You put a Q there, bro. Uh, Help me so much. See, there you go. It's um, oop, There's another 4.2 spawn. Let's get that one. And um, so now we know where both 4.2 spawns are. There's another baby drop. That's another 53k in the bag. I'm gonna like wave at this dude, I guess. Or yeah, I'm just gonna wave at him. Woohoo! <laughs> Love your content. Well, thank you, XL Glam XX. XX Glam XX. Okay, there you go. Big shout outs to, to that person. Very cool. And it looks like uh, Bridgewatch's little area is under attack. So because it's now currently under attack, I don't want to go over there. I would rather stay hidden on the bottom part of the map so that faction flagged players don't chase me around. And that will rarely happen. Most of the time, a faction flagged player won't overly commit to attack you, especially if you're a gatherer, right? But even if they did, like, let, like <laughs> maybe I'll get an opportunity to show you later in the video, but... I can 
skin an animal faster, then they can dismount and, and get their cooldowns. So, like, I dismount, I'm attacking these dudes, and enemy player dismounts, right? They got five seconds. Okay, I'm skinning, I'm skinning, I'm skinning. Now, of course, they'd be able to attack me, but let's say I'm skinning, they dismount on me, okay? They got five seconds, I just mount up and run away. And, <laughs> you know, the, the, the boar here is quite a beefy boy. Now, I did see that item drop up there. I'm not going to grab it because it is near a mob, and I don't want to have to, like, juggle the aggro on the mob. And like I said, I will be getting the enchanted, you know, cloth. There is another point to... There's a lot of point to stags on the map right now. These things aren't really, honestly, that much money. I'll show you. Uh, just a sec here. Let's grab these uh, little moa birds. Get them, you know, nice and... Oh, nope, I don't want to grab that one yet. Well, I did anyway. Okay, so... 25k, I'm going to skin this, and it went up to, oops, that's the wrong one, 25k goes up to 28k, so it's about 3,000 per, uh, per hit, so to speak, so, you know, that's about, like, 9 to 10,000, whereas the, the tier, the point three ones are 50k each, or more, depending on if I get the bonus, that's an 800 silver trinket, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up, that counts, that can add to our carry weight, which we don't like, but uh, I can always throw it out later. It's not a big deal. Um, and I do have the pork pie in the 8.4 bag. I should be pretty good. We are already 21% filled up. I'm waiting on hide animal poison cooldown. And, uh, you know, we got we got a few animals here. We got some tier 2. We got tier 4. Go ahead and take those out. It looks like Limhurst has taken over the zone. If I have my leveling gear on me, as soon as they leave, I can back cap it, and that's super annoying for them. I'm going to make that a video eventually of me back capping. Now, normally, too, I would fight these bosses because the fame is pretty good, uh, but I'm kind of trying to, you know, make this video a little bit shorter, and I wouldn't be able to, like, calculate the silver, you know, from the pickups and stuff. I'm just not going to bother. I'll, I'll leave that for someone else. Mm, another 4.2 dungeon. Those are really good, too, by the way. Okay, let's... Uh, I know what you're thinking. Ooh, 4.2 dungeon? No, it's not. It sucks. Uh, uh, uh it, They're good, man. They're actually pretty darn good. And no, that's actually 4.1. I'm sorry. The purple ones are 0.2. The legendaries are 0.3. Another item on top of a mob. Ooh, look at that. We got a little moa bird gathering up here. They just, they're just they just begging to be skinned, guys. Get out here and come skin them. They like it. They like having their flesh ripped apart. I don't know how you skin a bird, and I don't know how birds give leather. That's kind of weird. Like, shouldn't it give feathers or something, you know? Uh, so we, we earned 1,250 faction points already just from skinning. I haven't done anything else on this character today. So, uh, you know, I'm not factoring in faction earnings. That We're not going to earn 9,000 in one setting, that's for sure. I don't think we are. We might. I mean, it's been 16 minutes. Seven, we'll say 17 minutes. So every 17 minutes is 1,250, possibly, possibly less, possibly more. We're coming up on a really good nest uh, here in the bottom left for tier 4 stags. If there's a player there, we won't revisit it because it gets camped a lot. It is a, it is a huge spot. All the gatherers come down here and they just chill in this corner. It's like a little party, little skinner party. And uh, we'll see if anyone's there. You can see there's a bunch of bodies already and not a lot of respawns. I bet if I kill these, they won't have any yield. But let's test it. Sometimes there's no one here and it's a really good spot. Okay, so these had two yield on them. That one had only one. So it, it looks like it's being actively hunted in this little spot right now. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to check a few more areas down here and then we'll move on. I'm just really checking for point three spawns right now at the moment. We, we have three of the point two spawns that I can start rotating if I want to. Uh, that will maybe cut down on our silver per hour. Maybe not. I might try it this video. I don't know. <laughs> Most of the time, I just get into a loop, like a little routine. There's Aha Ruro. Looks like a new skinner, new player. He's just skinning. I don't see any enchanted mobs, so I'm just going to move on. Kind of uh, scour the sides here. And uh, sometimes there's a bunch right here. Looks like there's... Four today. It's not really a bunch. Sometimes there's like eight or nine, so I always make sure to check. But uh, not not today. Now, I, what I really should do is to have taken a screenshot because my brain is very forgetful, and um, I'm already forgetting some of those point two spots. I know there was one like over here. There was one up top, and I don't remember where the third one is. So when we run into them again, and they're only good for like one hour, so I don't know when that hour is. Uh, usually I try to time it by the 45 minute so right down here it's 4 11 in the morning 
That means at 445, the enchantments usually change because that's when the server comes up. But yesterday, the server was late. The server didn't come up until like 09 or 010. So the enchantments might change any minute now. Um, <laughs> I haven't fully developed that strategy yet. That's still being researched, still being tinkered with. So it's why I haven't made a video on it. It's still in the um, hypothesis stage, so to speak. So if you're if you're confused, what I'm trying to figure out is uh, how to time when the enchantments change over. And I like to think that right when the server like you know reboots and opens up, and that's when the timer begins, and then every hour it cycles. I don't have confirmation. I I can't dig through the game's code. I'm not smart enough for that stuff. But you know, someone out there, if no one knows this information, then sh then I gotta figure it out myself because no one else is gonna do it, right? We are revisit. Sometimes this little peninsula is really good um, for stags, but lately it hasn't been. I don't know what's going on, but we've done we've basically done a full loop now, and uh, oh, there's one. Let's see, one lit lap was twenty nine. Journals filled. Oh, man. And, uh, yeah, I, I brought enough journals. I've got 137 more to go, and we're only 20 minutes in, so, um, <laughs> we should be able to easily make this. Uh, let's see. I want, I want more mobs. I want to, like, start getting just a little bit more here. Eh, we'll, we'll do, we'll do those. Why not? I don't know. I don't like to, if I go too long without skinning, my, my character gets antsy, starts stressing out. He's, uh, he's got to get his skinning fix, so to speak. Waiting on cooldowns. And there should be a big stag pile right up here near the river. Or I'm not a river. It's a lake near this little oasis, I guess. Yep. And you can if you can if you go watch the other video where I make a brand new character and do this, it is so much slower because, well, when you have tier 8 gear and you have the tier 8 gathering gear, you're getting more. Uh, and you're killing faster, you're killing basically instantly. It's it's just so nice. It's like I tell every player they should level up gathering. And I tell them you should go skinning or you should go uh, harvest stone. And maybe I'll do it. Guys, if, if you made it this far in this video, let me know. Do you want to see a stone version of this? Do you want me to, to do this challenge where I get a million silver and, and do it with stone? With solo dungeons? Uh, it took an hour and a half to get, like, 450,000 silver the other day with a solo dungeon. So, uh, I don't know about that one, but... <laughs> uh, if I recall, there wasn't really much in this little corner here, but we'll check it once again. Yeah, there was just, like, these three. Just a little triple. Oh, baby, a triple. Let's see. We are at two babies at the moment. I don't think I've gotten any tome... Yeah, no tome drops, two babies... Not not doing so so bad, you know. We've made about three hundred thousand in twenty twenty something minutes, so we might make it under one hour. Hey, someone took that. Someone is out here harvesting the hemp. Not good. That is mine. <laughs> How dare they take that from me? All right, let's get these. Get this one. Go ahead and grab the impala. Impala, make you holla. <laughs> Waiting on cooldown, just doing a little spin so I can stretch my wrist, kinda. Not really, I don't know. Just doing it for the cameras, guys. That's that's all this channel is, doing it for the cameras. We grab the thin hide, we're at 30% carry capacity. We are 20-something minutes in on our pork pie, it looks like. And more animals means more profits. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, man. Imagine if they added, like, quick time events to skinning, you know? Kind of like the fishing, like how fishing works. Uh, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> These freaking two, Tier 2 helmets are littering. Someone is littering Tier 2 helmets all over the, uh, the step. Yep. Yeah, quick time events. It's like fishing, but you have to, like, time it just right. And if you time it just right, you get bonus resources. That would be fun. And it would be a cool little bot check. I honestly, if I made a video game, it would have a CAPTCHA. You have to solve the damn CAPTCHA so that you, uh, you know, that you get proven that you're not a bot. Because there's too many damn bots. Especially on the East server, it's bad. I don't want to show video on the channel because SBI really doesn't like 
when you know their YouTubers talk about it. And I'm not, I don't, they're not, they don't own me or nothing. I don't, I haven't signed any NDAs. I'm not part of the partner program. But you know, they, they don't like it when we talk about the hackers and the botters and stuff. They would rather just kind of sweep that under the rug and keep people kind of uh, blissfully oblivious to what's happening out there. <laughs> Now, there was a Skinner at the top, uh, he was, you know, kind of controlling that zone, but there was a 4.1 up there, so I really want to kind of, like, start timing that, so I can just increase our earnings and make this video just a tad bit faster. Someone killed this one, and they didn't skin it, so, um, oh, that one only had one yield, and that one had full yield, so that's really odd behavior. When you start noticing that, that's, that's kind of what bots do sometimes, they, uh, they're not very consistent. With their skinning. And there's only seven people in the zone because it's it's off hours. It's four in the morning, you know. It's on a weekday. People got to go to school and work and stuff. And so, not a lot of competition. I don't have to worry much about it right now. But we're going to go ahead and grab more hides. Yes. Not a lot of enchanted metals or hemp either. This is kind of like a low earning. We got Mr. Pharos up here. He's skinning. It looks His gear looks brown, so you can tell that he's still like low tier. I should be able to, like, go ahead and just... Oh, I didn't... I didn't have my hide poison up, so I gotta do it manually. I gotta cleanse them with fire. Alright, now we have the hide poison up. Now, I'm gonna start taking screenshots here, so I can make sure that I have all the good spots mapped out for the enchanted mobs. Because, uh, that's going to... That's something that I normally do, right? I'm just... I didn't do it because I'm filming, and it's just awkward, but whatever. <laughs> yes, it's awkward in group. I, I am the king of awkward. Let's just uh, let's just go with that. All right, little enchanted metal there. Go ahead and hit that. Enchanted hemp. Let's go ahead and grab that. Now these mobs are just respawning, so they're pretty much worthless. But I would tell you to kill them anyway because they still, regardless of how fresh they are, they still have a chance to drop babies, and they can drop tomes of insight too, which are also pretty darn good. You know, those are that's like 17 to 20k depending on your server, and depending on the economy at the time. But you can see that we're pretty constant, we're pretty consistent here with the skinning. We're just, uh, if it moves, it dies. Okay, there's the point four mobs. I'm going to just hit a little print screen there, and we're going to just open MS Paint, pop that in. And uh, display capture was on, unfortunately, so you saw my desktop and how messy it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry for that, but um, I don't think I had any video stuffs on there. Why was that? <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. What is that? Um, 27 minutes in. Let me just do a little, little thing real quick. And... Hold on, I gotta type a note to myself. Okay, cool. Alright, I have made a note to myself, so... Uh, I can look that over, make sure there's nothing too crazy on my desktop. I don't think there is, but you never know. I do post on- I do crap post on 4chan a lot. So, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I will go back and, you know, I, I wanted to do this no edit style, but I might have to just snip that out. Don't don't want that showing up. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything on there, but um, you know, you truly never know. And uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so we've got I've got the screenshot pulled up now and uh, should be able to continue skinning along rather nicely. Yep. Just got to make sure. Just gotta protect myself, so to speak. Why? I was wondering why I was lagging. Display capture makes the the, the video much laggier, so I, I hate using it. Sometimes I have to show calculators and stuff, and I swear I auto attack that other stag, but whatever. Go ahead and grab these, and I'm I'm really not being efficient, but whatever. It's fine. Who cares? It's fine. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Oh, that one respawned. Snatch, snatch that one right up. Go ahead and yoink them. Let's see, two mobs here. Go ahead and pull those. There's only six players in the zone now. That's good for me. Uh, we we have at least two confirmed skinners besides myself. 
So, I don't know what the other three are doing, but they're probably also skinning. People always come here to skin. It's it's just a really nice zone to skin, and it's the one that I know best. It is just... It's where I go. It's just what I'm used to. Once you make a habit out of it, you know where the mobs spawn, you know where all the big juicy spots are, you know where to go, where not to go, where to save time. I do need to explore the middle of the map a little bit better, so I can see if there's any point three mobs there. And technically, the real best way is to work two maps at once, because um, that way like, I can jump over here, grab the point threes on there, jump back over here, grab the point threes over here, and stuff like that. Let's see... Hmm. Any any good spots? Any good mobs? Let me go ahead and just grab this little triple pull here. Take them down. Now I might peek at the other map just to see how busy it is, because it is a high yield zone. I could definitely farm faster if I was on it. Looks like we got some dead tier three mobs here. Um, a bot possibly killed, or a non skinner. Sometimes non skinners will kill the animals. Because they don't know any better, they don't know that the fame is pretty much worthless. Like, like I kill a, a, a cougar, it's 18 fame. I kill a, a skeleton warrior, it's like 2,000. I think there was a point two over here, and it might be gone. It might have changed. Let's see. And sometimes the map will just be barren of enchanted mobs. That happens, that's just RNG, that's just luck. Uh, it is luck, but um, we should still be able to make a decent silver per hour. And, oh, my pork pie ran out. I just noticed that. So we'll consume one before uh, we skin this little batch here. Because that's going to dramatically increase our gathering yield. That's It's a whole 15%, right? So basically, we kill 7 or 8 mobs, we get one for free. And that's for 30 whole minutes. You always want one of these ro rolling, okay? Every single time that you, you gather anything. Like, especially if you just gather one enchanted .3 mob... That mob will already pay for the pork pie. There is an enemy player here. He is very undergeared. I can kill him, so I'm going to do that now. Because why the hell wouldn't I? And uh, he's going to attack me, because why wouldn't he? <laughs> but we're just going to nuke him here. And uh, that'll send him to the Shadow Realm. So uh, The reason why is he's, uh, he's in our territory and he's taking our mobs, which... Well, I also want the, um, <laughs> the faction points. But I inspected his gear, he's in flat 4, you know, and uh, I'm not, so it's my, like, this is why you want to be geared. This is why I consider getting a point four fire staff. Now, he could go switch his gear to PvP gear and go hunt me around, and that is a possibility, right? But I could do the same thing, and I'm, I'm in fully point four max spec, so I'm not worried about retaliation, because I will just retaliate his retaliation, and, uh, and then we have a little fight on our hands. <laughs> All right, we're gonna harvest this while the animals die. That's right, we're ripping up the plants and killing uh, nature's animals to further our uh, in-game greed. Of course, you know, you gotta get, gotta make that money. And the money just disappears when we when we do group dungeons. Okay, we do the auto respect, we pay the satchel. How does that even? Is it a magical bag that just eats money? I don't understand how satchels work, lore-wise. Does anyone? There's a point two mob there, so we're going to mark that on our map. Though it's not currently alive, so it might be gone, but we'll check back later. And, uh, let's see. So we need to time it 12 minutes for the other point two mob to respawn. So I'm going to take right there, I'm going to open my map, and I'm going to put a little dot right on it so I can know that this is a good little spot to come back to later. There we go, got it. Very nice. I know that does take a little bit of time away from skinning. I know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. it, it it'll pay dividends later when I go check the map and be like, Oh yeah, there's a point two mob possibly there. Also, don't want the tier 1 hides. It says they're worth silver, they're not. That's just someone manipulating the market to scam newbies. Don't worry about that. <laughs> you can't actually sell that for anything. That's how you craft tier 1 gear, if you're curious. You want some tier 1 armor, you gotta go get scraps of hide. I don't know why you would, though. <laughs> you can't sell tier 1 items to the black market. The, if you have full tier 1 items, you have 70 item power. So you're slightly stronger than being naked, only by a teeny tiny amount. I almost killed the player once in, in tier 1. Almost. Uh, 
But he just turned around and two shot me when he came back from being AFK, so. That would have been pretty funny though. But one day I will find an AFK player and I will somehow randomly have a point one, or I'm sorry, a tier one set just on my character. And then I will make it happen. It'll be it'll be pretty funny. <laughs> oh, Benji murdered this 8.4 guy in tier one gear. I think the natural regeneration would probably outweigh the damage you deal. But I don't know. I've never actually tested it. Someone's got to test this now. We have to know. We the people must know. Let's grab these little impalas, and then we're just gonna explode them. Explosion! All right. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Speaking speaking of explosions, does anyone else like let a bunch of anime episodes like stack up so they can binge them? Like uh, I think Konosuba is going on right now, the new one. And uh, instead of watching like one episode and waiting a week, which is stupid. It's, uh, just let, like, a whole bunch of episodes stack up and then watch them all at once. That's way more, um, you know, it's less frustrating due to cliffhangers and stuff. Because all the enemies be doing cliffhangers these days. I want to de-aggro these mobs before I engage the Moa birds. That way I can... And my hide ammo poison's almost out. But as long as we get at least, you know, that attack in before the debuff disappears, we're good. Yeah, we are doing pretty fine here. Let's see, we're at 4.31, so we need to make 600 more thousand silver, I believe, to hit that 1 million mark. I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna... that's what we're gonna do. Hmm. Let's see now. Still moving along. Oh yeah, I need to check the middle. Oh yeah, th this is a good spot. Right here, there's like four. There's actually five if I go... oh no, that's an Impala. They have similar legs, okay? <laughs> Do you think the stags bully the impalas? Is an impala just a baby stag? No, I don't think I don't think they are. I think they're a different species, aren't they? I've never I, I don't really know. I don't study animals, man. Seven players in the zone. This guy bolt casting it up. Yeah, go ahead and kill that boss, dude. He's got bolt casters, he can do it. He can do it easy. Yeah, shoot him. There you go. He's doing it. Oh no, maybe he's not doing it. Oh, he, he ran away. Oh no. Oh no. He can he can do it though. He, he can totally pull that off. I'm just out here taking all your skinning mobs though, because he's skinning too, but he's he's spending time faming up, and that's totally fine. It's what you should do. He's doing what he should be doing. Which is, uh, you know, you like to see it. You like to see new players getting stronger so that they can do more cool things in the future. Hopefully not serve a guild... You know, hopefully not get, you know, shafted by a guild. You hate to see that. You like to see people free. They log in, they do whatever the heck they want. They log out. All's good. None of this, oh, I have to guard my guild hideout for 12 hours. Oh, no, the CTA. I have to do I have to do what my guild master says. I have to wear the equipment that they tell me to in Discord. Nah, man, screw that. Screw all that noise. That's stupid. Well, there's a 2,500 point. Um, it's been a little bit more than 17 minutes, though, so I'm, I'm lacking a bit. You can tell I'm lacking. You know, that, that first 17 minutes more productive than the second. Don't let it beat you up. Don't, don't, don't let your brain bully you. <laughs> because the brain will want to. The brain likes it. It, it, it thinks of it as, like, self-improvement or character building or something. Okay. Still only two babies. Now, it looks like the zone just opened back up to being available to get captured. You'll see the health, the the status bar at the top. This means that Bridge Watch is on their way to recapture. And I want to be there for that. So I'm going to make my way towards the camp or just kind of hang out towards the middle of the map for now. So when that starts happening, I'll be able to jump in and touch the ground so that I can get credit and get some points. <laughs> Though I technically don't need to because I killed that guy earlier, but if he was, he might be, he might have been under 700 item power. Uh, he was flat four, so he might be. I, I don't know. <laughs> and he was in gathering gear, too, wasn't he? Or maybe he was, I don't know, I don't remember. You know, we can peek down here and see if the skinners have moved on. Sometimes, like if a skinner is camping apart, a, a point, they might be AFK, or they might have already journeyed back home to, you know, uh, deposit their goods. So we're going to check it. We're going to make sure. Um, also, make sure no new enchanted mobs have popped up. Let's see. 
grabbing more hide. More hide. Yeehaw. Let's see. Oh, we got some creatures. Creatures of the of the forest. This is not a forest. Creatures of the desert oasis. Whatever. I think that's what this is. It's a, it's a step. You mean like a like a ladder? <laughs> oh, 4.3 mob. 4.3 mob located right there. Marking it on the map now. Big. That's big. We really need to control this. Uh, I don't know how long it has been since it's been killed. So we're going to have to check back every minute. Every single minute. We're going to hang out down here for a little bit. We got this guy. He's possibly timing this too. He looks like he is. Yeah, he, he might be timing it. Um, what is his get up? He's got also fire staff. So um, it's going to be a little bit tricky. But I believe my pyroblast hits harder than his, uh, his meatball. <laughs> I also out spec him slightly and uh if i can just hear him kill it i can time it better so but he is out here you know he's doing his thing and uh, yeah you can see i'm i'm just i'm staying nearby dude as soon as that sucker pops as soon as it pops i'm gonna e that that thing and uh again we're just kind of hanging out nearby there it is and that's mine thank you very much okay time is 11 32 uh, I'm sorry, 432. <laughs> you didn't hear that. <laughs> so, uh, 32. Copy that. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> come back in two to three minutes, and we're gonna grab that again. And the reason why is because that's worth 38,000. So that is huge, easy money. That was actually kind of a, a lower yield. So we need to watch our time. It's actually 33, so we'll come back at 35. And, uh... Yeah, that, that, that's uh, that's how it is. Now, of course, this, this guy, he's going to be, you know, hovering around. He's going to be timing it as well. And people really honestly didn't time this too much until I made a video on it and showed, hey, it's actually sometimes more profitable to just set and camp it rather than farm the whole zone. Now, what I can do in the few minutes that we have, I can, you know, run to one of those .2 spawns now and grab those come back, grab the point three spawn, and then we're just farming the enchanted ones. I can also just harvest other resources nearby that aren't, you know, animal parts. I can go do hemp, I can go do metal. It, it doesn't matter. As long as I get back within three minutes of, of that spawn, uh, <laughs> three to five minutes. Also, if there's other people also contesting it, I should count the skeletons to make sure that one didn't spawn and get killed while I was gone. But uh, we're just going to do a quick little lap around. And uh, let's see. It was 33. It is now 34. So it's been it's been about a minute and a half or so. We, we got some time. We got another minute. We got, you know, I like to come back about three minutes or so. It's three to five minutes. Three minutes is the earliest it can spawn. Five minutes is usually the latest. Sometimes at five minutes, it'll spawn with two ticks. So when it says 36 down below that, we, we need to be there. We need to be there dismounted with hide animal poison online, ready to go. But until then, you know, we're, we're doing all right. Because if we get a baby drop, that's basically like getting one of those spawns. If we get a tome drop, that's like two or three of them. It's, it's, it's pretty nutty sometimes. All right, so we have about one minute until we need to be there. A little under a minute, actually. So we are going to... You know, just do some more skinning, just kind of run around nearby and control that spawn. Go ahead and grab this one, and there we go. Now, this is also decent for challenge points. It's not the best. Challenge points are really good for group dungeons and static dungeons, uh, but gathering is not bad. Like, if you just want to farm challenge points to unlock a mount or something, then yeah, just gather away, man. You'll, you'll get it. You'll absolutely get it. All right, we have maybe like 30 seconds until that thing possibly spawns. So we're going to head back now. And uh, let's see, is he camping? Yeah, he's camping. He's camping it. Uh, can't tell if he got one, like a spawn or not. But we'll see. <laughs> I don't know why you're using that W spell. Okay. Whatever you say, dude. Grab that. That one's 1 minute 41 seconds. I don't know if there was one down there, too. I don't know for sure. 
But uh, we are... We're, we're just going to sit here and prep. <laughs> and we know it spawned right about here. Because I pulled it downwards. So let's... Oh, there it is. Yep. And I already got it. I did more damage. All right, so that time is 36. So we need we need to we need to be there here at 39. Okay, and that went from 38k to 77k. So you can see why I'm doing this. It's very important that I control that spawn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there we go. So we come back in three minutes, and we grab that one. And let's see, we're at 4.45. So we've made about 500, we're about halfway. We are technically, yeah, it's about halfway, and we're at 45 minutes. So about an hour and 30 minutes, isn't that what I said, estimated, possibly, something like that. And it depends on, it depends on baby drops, it depends on those 4.3 spawns. There could be more 4.3 spawns out there, I don't know, we have to go and find them. If we can find two or three more 4.3 spawns, we can just rotate all of them, and it's just super, super fast money. <laughs> really like it is insanely fast money but you have to find them and sometimes they're they just don't exist it it, it involves scanning the whole map and it really depends on how many people you're competing against because you know when uh, when other players find these spots they will do the same thing that i'm doing let's go ahead and take out the Kamala's, and then those have been recently killed which is a little worrying but uh whatever that means i can hear someone doing something nearby i don't know if they're skinning or if they're just killing mobs yeah we have a person over here they are just killing mobs, apparently. Uh, possibly a bot. They got some odd mu movement, but maybe, maybe not. You never truly know. All right, we got about a minute to get back down south uh, for the next spawn. So we need to work our way down there. Oh, or I could leave it. You know, you I could. Or why, why would I? Why would I leave that spawn? Obviously, I'm going to go back. But I'm going to, I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to find other spawns. I'm trying to find other point three spawns. If I can find just a few more, oh man, the, the money will begin to massively flow. And shoot, I would I would be down to camp it for a full hour and just turn that into the video instead of this is how long it takes to make a million silver. <laughs> okay, so we're we're moving back down. I don't have hide animal poison, but I didn't really need it last time. So I just quick casted the pyro, and yeah, this guy is still he, he, bro. Like, give up. I don't know, like, yeah, he, he, he's a lower tier gatherer, obviously, right? I'm sitting here, I can just despawn my, uh, despawn my mount. I, I don't need it. Just kill everything while we wait for the spawn. Go. Just tag everything. Go ahead and start skinning here. Skin this, skin this. Go ahead and grab that as soon as it spawns. I didn't even mean to click on that, it just... I was trying to skin something and it spawned right on top. Summon our, no. We'll hide animal poison, resummon our mount, and uh, then we'll desummon it, or we'll just set it there, and then we wait for the next spawn, and this could take a few minutes. I don't speak your language, bro, so, um, sorry, don't know what you're saying. And I'm not gonna go into a translator and type it out and then you get the spawn. He's probably complaining or something, I don't know. Don't translate it for me in the comments either, okay? If he wants to communicate, he'll speak the global language. Let's see. I can't even click on him because there's a bunch of bones. And now, one thing I can do is invade his um, Discord, so we'll do that. That'll be fun. <laughs> and, oh no, my screen just full screened. Okay. Hide Animal Poison activate. We auto into Pyro. That's the, that's the fast click. We're going to get it. I think it was right here when it spawned, so I'm going to have my mouse around that area. And uh, he can meatball it, but my pyro hits way harder. And I have Crypt Candle, which oh, he does too. Look, no, he's got Boy Zack. He doesn't hit as hard. All right, let's move the Discord server over and see if I can invade this dude. And uh, <laughs> let's see. I, I can't read any of these channels. And it looks like I, I can't type in any of them either. And there's no one in voice chat. Chat publico. Here we go. At crisp crisp tour. <laughs> My 4.3 smiley face. <laughs> and there it is. Thank you. And yeah, that's mine. That's a two hitter there. Uh, so that was 41. We'll come back at 44. That 77k is now 129k. It's that easy. 
I'll see you later. <laughs> he says, uh, he, why did he censor it? I don't have profanity filter on. Why is he being timid? But, um, here, I'll show you. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna share our screen. Look at that. There we go. See, I said my 4.3 smiley face. I love it, dude. And uh, we'll just leave the server now because I don't need to. I don't need to hear what he says. And there we go. <laughs> oh, fun times indeed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least he made it in the video. Guy that doesn't speak English. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it, man. You you gotta absolutely love the. Uh... <laughs> Uh, the, f the funness of it all. You know, you gotta have fun while you do your gathering, okay? So we're at 4.52. We need the, we need 400k more. <laughs> and, uh, see, I've already forgot the time. It was 41, so at 44 we go back down and we do it again. Eventually, if you win too many of these, uh, mob tags, they give up. They realize it's not worth sitting there, like... <laughs> uh... No, I don't want the tier 2. Get out of my inventory, tier, or tier 1. Tier one, get out. You are not welcome in my inventory. All right, two babies. We've got I don't know how many 4.3 uh, uh, drops there, and we have 62 journals filled. Not bad, you know, 15 journals per guild hideout. Um, and then I, I usually do uh, I usually upgrade it a bit more, so it's really like nine more. 24, yeah, 20. I do 24 um, <laughs> laborers per guild island and I have hundreds so I need a lot of journals before I turn them in because I'm just lazy like that all right we come back at 44 so we got one minute and we're nearby we're not too far go ahead and grab these and there is a chance they could spawn even sooner but most likely not Let's see, grabbing these mobs. All right, all right. I'm gonna check my YouTube comments while I skin because that's uh, that's something I would do. Let's see. Someone asking a really dumb question about the UI. Uh, talking about Avalonian tools. I'm not even gonna answer that, that one. That is just, it's not even worded correctly. So if you're gonna leave a comment, make sure that you word it correctly, you know, that you actually speak a full sentence and not like some sort of weird half baby sentence like a toddler and the boy he is still is he does it he's being attacked and it's interrupting his skinning so that's funny i can't tell if that's uh it's nope that's no it oh no he might get that one the mob was in front oh was that a regular mob i think that was a regular i can't tell it looked enchanted but i wasn't sure i don't know but there was a mob in front of my pyroblast. Oh, dang. I don't know if he got that one or not. But maybe he'll talk some smack? Why do you take his helmet off? Weird. That one... See, it, it's hard to tell if that one's enchanted or not. It just says medium hide on the on the tooltip. So it's really hard to tell. I also don't know if that one that spawned was enchanted or not. I know... I, I, got, I think I got the kill credit on it. I got the kill credit on something over here. <laughs> Is he really got, not going to get these? Like, bro, this is his money on the ground, dog. Like, come get it. Go ahead and grab that one, too. And, uh, yeah, it's spawning any minute now, hopefully. Maybe. We don't really know. <laughs> we got this ha-ha-ha Ruo guy. He's coming in. And, uh, oh, he moved on. He, he took off his helmet, and then he left. Or maybe he's invisible. Who knows what's going on? It's, it's getting weird over here. But, uh, maybe... Here's a, here's a theory. He didn't have a tier 4 skinning knife, and he can't harvest this. What if that's the case? I, I don't know. But we're gonna see. It just says medium hide. I don't think it's enchanted. Yeah, that's just regular. That is just a regular medium hide. There's no one around, so I can be a little less campy right now. I, I can go, like, you know, a couple screens away and check out, like, there's that player. He's doing some stuff. So, not a, nothing there. I can go ahead and grab this one down here, mount back up, make sure that I have line of sight of this. And uh, we can get the next spawn. It is, uh, what, 45 now? Oh, there it is. All right, and there's no one around, so I can just tag it and drop it. Just a twofer. So that is 46. It died at 46. So we'll check back at 49. That 120k became 168k. So it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> 
Oh, it is absolutely just glorious. All right, back at it again. Sometimes, multiple 4.3 mobs will spawn in the same zone. And if you get that to yourself, oh, it's beautiful. Like, if you get, like, three or four of those in the same cluster, it's it's insane money per hour. It's, like, multiple millions. <laughs> and I know some of you are going to be thinking, like, well, what if you just... What if you just go to a tier, you know, whatever black zone, and it has a higher chance to, you know, be enchanted? Yeah, it does. Uh, and then you get murdered by 20 dudes, and then you lose everything. That's not fun. <laughs> so, why would you want to do that? Alright. We are... We are doing it. We are getting it. Go ahead and grab these tier 3s. And some of y'all are like, well, it's too much effort to, like, run around the whole map and skin when you can make that amount of silver just sitting on the 4.3 mob. And that's true, and that's what a lot of people do. Uh, like, if you, like, for instance, if you find a couple 4.3 spawns and you just sit there and wait for them to respawn and, and gather them every time for that one hour, you will make almost equal amount of silver as if you roam the entire zone skinning like I am. And you'll notice a lot of these are <laughs> low yield now because I've pretty much, I don't know, uh killed the entire species of this area but that's okay they'll eventually regenerate that's just how it is <laughs> die marmot all right we are looking at the time we got two minutes until we go back down two minutes not a big deal there was a 4.2 spawn over here i guess i can check them out you know go grab that come back i just gotta alt tab to my map make sure that i'm headed in the right spot for now, we'll, we'll take these out while I check my map. Okay, map, map, map. It is on top of this brown thing, so we're gonna go over there. This little brown circle. And I know I killed a third mob, there it is. Sometimes it's hard to see beyond the trees, and we gotta go right over here, and that's why we use the map. It might be killed, it might not be available anymore, but it was there earlier, so... It looks like it is gone. It is no longer there. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. We got one minute, so let's make our way back to that spot. And, uh, we're actually half, we're freaking half the zone away. We're not, I don't think I'm going to make it in the one minute, but we might. We might. And, uh, if I don't get hit by mobs and stuff on the way. Uh, we're at 57 minutes, so we're almost at the one hour mark. And we're going to see, uh, at one hour, one minute of video, that's when I've officially been skinning for one full hour. We'll see how much silver that I've somewhat made. I'm not going to return to town or anything and, and check. I'm just going to look at my estimated market value and kind of go from there. But uh, it is 49, so that thing is respawning now any minute. It's possibly already up. Hopefully someone hasn't grabbed it, but we shall see. And th yeah, this guy's a little bit f far away, so he probably didn't grab it. That other player might have come back to camp it, maybe with some harder hitting gear. And uh, I don't see one spawned, but um, I don't see any spawned, and that's a little troublesome, too. So you, we don't know if it's been killed or not, but we can hang out for a few minutes. You know, if, if any more than three extra minutes. So if this is like reading 52 and it's still not up, then it'll be, you know, it means I missed one, essentially. It means I strayed a little too far. That one's got a minute left. So he was here a minute ago. It wouldn't have been up a minute ago if that one is freshly killed. So we know that. We know that it's a minimum three minutes until they come back. And if there are dead bodies that still, you know, have a minute to go, then that means he killed it at least a minute ago. If that makes sense. I don't know if it does. Hopefully I'm explaining this correctly. But, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just camping. Just camping the spawns. That's what we do. Because we want money. And we want money fast. We want money good. And I despawn my mount. That's fine. There's no hostile players nearby. The thing is, if a hostile player rolls up on you and you're not on your mount, you just mount up. And because they have a five second cooldown, you can mount up in three seconds, meaning you will always be able to get on your mount before they can do a hostile action. Usually. Unless you're like lagging or I don't know, or you didn't notice them in time or just something weird. Go ahead and grab that one and reapply the poison. And it is now four minutes, still no spawns. So maybe we did miss it. it it's pawn, It's totally possible. I think two minutes, 45 seconds is the earliest they can come back. 
I, I doubt it did, but uh, five minutes is the latest that I've ever had one come back. Like five minutes and some odd seconds. There it is. See, we, we got it. We got the timing all right. We're here. We're here for it. That's just a one hitter, unfortunately. Uh, that is now 51, so we'll come back at 54. Uh, now, if this switches over to 52, then that means, you know, it's uh, we're at the end of that minute cycle. <laughs> so technical, aren't we? We're very technical with our skinning. Oh, look at this little pile. We'll go ahead and grab these boys. And uh, no high damage poison for them. They have to die a natural fiery death. <laughs> Which, uh, no bueno, you know. I don't know how you're supposed to tan the hides and stuff if they're burnt to a crisp, but... We'll, we'll let the, uh... We'll let the refiners figure that one out, right? <laughs> Imagine the smell. <laughs> Will you stop burning the stags? They smell awful. No one wants to buy this leather. <laughs> Oh, man. Imagine if there was quality on refined resources. Dude, if I made this, I think I would put that into the game. Like, instead of just going to a repair bench and re-rolling quality, you had to get the quality from the ingredients. So you would need, like, excellent quality leather and uh, outstanding quality, you know, masterpiece quality leather. That really should be how the game is. Just my opinion. I, that's just how I'm... Oh, we got a tome drop. Don't know why that a giant stag is being a little book nerd, reading books. You're not- oh, excuse me, these are mine? Excuse me? Those are mine? Hey, it's Crispitas again. I, I'm stealing his mobs. <laughs> he, he, he left. He left the little spawn. Boy, this guy is not having- he got one of them. <laughs> Lame. L -l Lamentable. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? He's lamenting? He's- <laughs> He's like, oh, that's so lamentable. I'm going to lament about this later. I'm going to seethe. I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, man. <laughs> hey, this is how I have my fun, okay? You, and I know some Redditor is going to be like, Ugh, so Benji's such a bully. He's in the blue zone with newbies. And he's stealing their resources. Okay, let's look at the time. 51, it's 53. That means uh, that thing is going to respawn in a minute. And I bet I bet our little Crispitas uwu guy, I bet he's going down there right now to try to steal it. I bet that's where he's going. Let's go see. Let's go find out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. I love how that pyroblast timed exactly when the stag in front of me died. Otherwise, they would have tanked it and I wouldn't have gotten any of those kills. And I know it's such a piddly, stupid amount, but it's still funny. It's still very funny to me. Okay, we got a couple respawns here. I don't have animal poison up, so we're going to do this. Oh, wait, I did. I did for one. <laughs> oh well. And by fire be purged. Oh, we got a Bushmaster here. Bushmaster is tier eight. He knows the score. He. Oh, this is mine. Excuse me. He. Oh, I still got it. Still got it. Get wrecked. Timing is fifty four. And so we come back at fifty seven. <laughs> Freaking Bushmaster trying to steal it. See, th dude, how does he know? He, here's the thing that's really sus that I've noticed with gatherers like that, is there is an ESP hack, right, that will show you when stuff is about to respawn. I'm not joking. They can see before a 4.3 mob is about to spawn where it's at, you know, even though it doesn't technically exist yet in the world. So for, he wasn't camping the zone. He wasn't timing the zone. It's real convenient for Bushmaster there to roll up on it right when it spawned, and then try to take it. It's real convenient, isn't it? It's super convenient. And, uh, you, you know, it could just be coincidence. You know, I'm not saying Bushmaster's out here ESP hacking, but it's really odd. It's really odd behavior. We're at 4.73, so we only need 200,000 more. I don't even need to camp it anymore, but I'm going to. I'm going to because why wouldn't I? It's insanely quick, good money. We're at, uh, oh, one hour and three minutes, guys. So it's been, it's been one hour now and a couple minutes over. And we've earned about 800,000 silver, and that's without premium. It would have been 1.2 million with premium. I tell everyone 1.2 million per hour, and that's what it would have been. And, you know, I'll tell you even further that if I use these journals, okay, these freaking journals, we'll, we'll do a little bit of math since we have some time. 75 filled journals. Let's pop up the display capture here. If my calculator will load. And uh, there it is. Okay, so we have 75 journals times 72 hide. That's 5,400 hide. Uh, tier 2 hide is currently worth 42. So we'll times that by 42. That is 226,000 silver. But if we, um... <laughs> dang it. 
Let me scroll up. If we take one of these journals, they're only worth 916. Well, 72 times, what? what is this again? This is 42, 72 times 42 means that one journal is worth 3,000, not 900. So technically I've already hit a million because I'm gonna turn the journals in. But for, for y'all's sake, we're gonna do it with just the value of the journal because I know not everyone has uh, Guild Islands, especially because SBI nerfed the method for solo players to get financial stability for some reason. It's kind of like the government. They don't want their people owning houses, so they raise the price of housing. It's just like real life. You know, you've saved up your whole life and you're trying to buy a house and then, hey, houses are suddenly too expensive. Sorry. Sorry, you can't own your own guild anymore. It's too expensive. It's four million. <laughs> yeah, isn't it like, it's like, th no, it's three million. It's like three or four million now for a player to do that. Uh, time check, 54, 57. That is respawning any minute now. We need to get back down there. I've been ta I've been horsing around up here. We got to make sure that we guard that 4.3 spawn with everything we've got because that is big money. <laughs> that is, uh, we only needed to hit that spawn four more times and we've made it. And yes, I know I'm being a little less efficient not farming everything else, but, uh, you know, that's just how it is. Also, I need to eat another pork pie before I, I skin it. And, oh, he's back again. <laughs> he is back once again. He wants to, he wants to contest this zone. There it is. And, boop. Now, oh, he, did he, no, oh, I don't, I meant to click it to see if I got it, but I did get it. It is 57, so we'll come back at 0, 0. <laughs> Uh, dude, <laughs> he he said pathetic. Hey, look at that, a baby drop. Oh, look at that. Hey, I got a baby drop. Nah, 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 nah. I wish there was voice chat in this game. Can you imagine how mad, like, dude, if there were, is the, please add voice chat to Albion. That would be my one wish. If I, if it's like the devs ask me, what is the one thing you want to see in Albion online? I would be like, bro, proximity voice chat. Please, I don't care. I don't need new weapons. I don't need new dungeons. Just let me talk to people. Let me be socialize. Can you imagine how fun this game would be if you could talk to people through voice chat by standing near them? That would be insane. The The memories that would be made for this game would, would be unforgettable. It would be legendary. There would be so much fun to be had. And yes, I know that it, there's room for abuse, that people would abuse the hell out of it and stuff like that. I understand. I know this. But think of all the good that would come from it, okay? Think of all the fun times of me going, yeah, 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 whenever I steal someone's, like, uh, resource node, or you gank someone in the black zone, and you're like, ew, poopy, <laughs> poopy drops, ew, gross, haha. -ha. Or y you, uh, you open a chest before someone gets to it, and then you're like, oh, wow, 8.3, oh my god, I'm just rich. How much, how much madness you can cause other players. It would be so fun, dude. We only need 100,000, and, and we're done. We're basically done <laughs> at this point. And it's only been an hour and six minutes, I'm telling you. Like, getting this tier 8 gathering, we would have this done way faster if I had premium. <laughs> and that's a fact. Oh. Can you guys just, just imagine with me <laughs> voice chat? Like, you go to Bridgewatch, and there's like 200 people, and they're all screaming into the microphone. You have the, the, the street beggars using, like, girl gamer voice changes. Hello, sir, please, can I have some silver? <laughs> uh, and then you have, like, guys like, oh, yeah, baby girl, I'll get you that silver girl. Let me give you 100 million silver girl. <laughs> you have, like, the 40-year-old dudes, like, hitting on the freaking e-girls and stuff. Oh, man. I don't want to say who or where I was at, but like the other night, I was I was helping someone do a transport, and uh, this one guy, he's he was hitting hard on this streamer e girl. He was like, "Hey, so what's your like favorite food?" Like it was like high school all over again. It's I'm just I'm just sitting there on the sidelines. I'm 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 chat muted. I can't talk. I can't say anything, and I just wanted to like I just wanted to cringe so hard because this guy was really like drilling her full of you know questions like so so like um. Y y you got a boyfriend <laughs> and, and stuff like that. So so, what do you like to d d d do for fun? <laughs> Imagine if there was voice chat for this stuff, though. It would be insane, right? You'd have people like blasting soundboards as they rode past you on their mounts and stuff. It would be the most fun game to exist. I'm gonna say that right now with conviction. Albion Online would be the most fun. <laughs> In existence, 
uh, if it had voice chat. And um, I think it's 501, so I, I should probably go back down and get that spawn. Because, uh, yeah, it's been four minutes, man. Oh, I'm lacking. It is, yeah, I, I attempted it at 57, and it's 01, so it's been four minutes. That means I might have missed our 4.3 spawn. I got, I got distracted by imagining an alternate reality where there's voice chat, guys. We gotta make it happen. We need, like, a third-party app or something. You know, like, <laughs> imagine. Hey, I'm the guy to shill that. I'm the most popular Albion Online YouTuber. If someone wants to make some sort... And no, don't be like Discord, dude. Uh, good Discord. Uh. No, I'm talking about, like... Like, somehow to have proxim proximity voice chat in any game. That would be the coolest invention. Imagine if I invented that, I could be rich. But I'm too stupid to know how to do that kind of stuff, so it's whatever. Alright, we have... Oh, he's back! Look at this. This is... I think this might be the last pull. The final pull, we have the point three, And uh, I'm gonna eat the pork pie because... It, I'm gonna get that all back from from the point three mob. Oh, yes. Look at this. It would be really funny if we got a baby drop, too. <laughs> and there we go. 5,000 uh, rep rewards. I think this is... No, we got... We need, like, 30k more. 30 or 40k more silver. Oh, that's so easy. Okay, that was that was at 02. So we'll come back at 05. And I realize I've been harvesting without a pork pie for a little bit now. I know that. That's fine. Just a few minutes. It's okay to make mistakes. Don't beat yourself up about it. Oh, what a fun time. Now, I do have to edit. Unfortunately, I wanted to do this video unedited, but because I showed my desktop, which could have spoilers for a future video or some sort of 4chan post or something on there that people might think negatively of me about, I do have to go back and check. <laughs> and and don't don't let Redditors be like, oh, he had something bad on his, disc on, on his desktop. Blech. You know, I'm pro I'm just probably gonna remove it anyway. Let's be real. Like, <laughs> so, uh, let's see. We just needed 40k silver. We just need 30k silver now. And it's like, why do you have stuff like that on your desktop? It's because I copy. I shit post. Okay, that's what I do on 4chan. I have these big copy pastas, and I post them, and then I get all the views, and I get all the replies, and uh, it's fun. It's fun to cause havoc on 4chan. <laughs> that's just why, that's why we do it. That's why we do it. But, um, what is the time? Uh, five, it's 02, so at 05, I got two minutes to go back and get that 4.3 spawn. And we've been controlling that spawn for a little while now. And you may be thinking, well, you only got it in one hour and blah, blah, blah minutes because you're controlling the spawn. And it's like, no. Um, you know, it's only 50k silver. That's like three or four uh, Impala Bulls. It's really not that hard. It, it does make it faster though. Like like I said, I estimated one hour thirty minutes, and we're gonna we're gonna beat that. We're gonna be do it in like one hour fifteen probably. One hour fifteen minutes tops. All right, start making our way back down, making our way downtown, walking fast on our <laughs> mount. Gonna gather the mount. I mean, gonna gather the stag. It's a four point three stag. I don't know the song lyrics, so, so I'm sorry. I can't like free ball it. I can't free something it whatever there's a bunch of little animals here we're gonna go ahead and just kill them all and uh, take their skin and then we're gonna wear it yes we are that's what we do big skinning here we go big skinning big old big skins yep welcome to soul Biggie's big skin emporium where we've got skins we've got animal skins we've got lampshades <laughs> Uh, why do you need a lampshade? Just let the light shine. Ooh, he's back. He's back again. Yeah, yeah, back again, bros. Back again. Wait, what? I didn't. I didn't feel that one. I I, sw I don't know if that. One okay, there. There it is. 335k and 4.3. And uh, also, you can actually profit even more by refining that. Yes, that's right. You can refine the 4.3 hides into 4.3 leathers, and you can make a big buck from that. <laughs> Literally, no pun intended. <laughs> okay, we are... we should be at a million. My estimated market value was 3.91, and now it is 4.93, meaning our mission is a success. Uh, we can go ahead and skedaddle on out of here, and uh, don't, don't mind this 43,000 teleport fee, it's fine. And yes, I'm aware that I have nearly a full pork pie in the belly, 
being digested and giving us a bonus. The video... Well, I'm gonna make sure it's complete. We're gonna go dump this into a chest and see... Oh, look at that mob, like, skittering out. We're gonna go and make sure that, um, that we did it. That we have gotten one million. And if not, I can just hop outside and skin a few things, if not, okay? It's not a big deal. But see, you know, I turn this into a labor, I'll show you. You give them the... Where's the freaking... There it is. Okay, look at 57. Okay, not 72. So maybe I overestimated a bit. I swear it was 72. Did they nerf it? I haven't used these in a long time. Well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's still close enough. Let's just grab a chest. This chest is completely empty. Estimated market value is zero. And throw all of our loot in. So here's all the loot. Throwing it in. With the journals, with the babies. 1.05 million. We over farmed a little bit, but we made 1 million in 1 hour and 14 minutes. And technically, the journey home cost, if we subtract that, it's still a million. And uh, you may be thinking, well, what about repairs? What about. Okay, I'll show you the repairs. Okay, but like I said, those journals are going to be turned into laborer profits, which is more than just selling the journal. So for me, it's still more than a million. Okay, so repairs are 53k, so you can be like, no, you didn't really farm a million prior. Yes, I did. Okay, I turned into the damn journals, okay? What was it, 52? Here, let's pull up the calculator, okay? We had, uh, hold on. Let's go back to the island. Hop on. Hop on, dude. Hop on my, my boat and sail. Sail to your island. <laughs> Old Benji's Island. <laughs> Where's the flight logs? <laughs> okay, so we filled 87 journals. Yes, 87 times 52. Was it 52 or 54? I don't remember. Whatever. We'll go 52. That's a lower number. 4,524. 4,524 times 42. 190K, right? So we're going to take 190K and we're going to subtract uh, 79701. The journal's value that's 110 additional thousand silver that i'm going to make that this estimated market value is not calculating so therefore we made a million per hour suck it reddit uh okay a million in one hour and 15 minutes there you go with premium hey guess what it's over a million per hour <laughs> even if you don't have those 4.3 spawns with premium that's 1.5 million that would be average 1.5 million okay uh, especially like with premium you would add another what is this 25 of these look at that with premium that's another 161k uh okay you can add 450 there with premium okay add another 450 you know 450 there add 370 there okay you know add another 450 here this is with premium by the way we're doing the premiums math now if i had premium okay and then 450 there and then you know like 220 all right, you, you get the idea, right? Okay, so with premium, let's see, what's that? Uh, 370, and that'd be 740, it's close enough. Uh, and then we'll add one more baby, and then um, premium does not increase your journal uh, gains. So don't worry about that. But with premium, we would earn an additional... Hold on, let me throw my crap in here. We would earn an additional four, 390,000. 390 additional thousand silver making yeah it's like 1.4 million per hour and 15 minutes okay 1.2 million per hour like i've said like i've said a million freaking times i've done this so many freaking times i know the numbers okay i know the numbers i know what i'm talking about okay i'm gonna take all this out because i'm gonna go sell it i'm not gonna refine it because i'm lazy and i don't care and i have enough money anyway it's fine all right that's the video and uh, now, it, if you want to even complain even further about taxes and market values, okay, 1.2 million in, in the hour, and then, you know, you sell, we, you'll, you'll have premium, right? So you only pay the 4% tax. Even after taxes, it's still a million per hour, okay? It's a million per hour. We did it. We did it, guys. I will see you in the next video. I'm Swolbidgey. Thanks for watching. If you want to know advanced skinning techniques and why I use certain equipment, feel free to become a channel member. The button to join is right down below. You made it this far in the video. You might as well get those advanced guides. So like on Twitch, when you subscribe, it's five bucks a month. On YouTube, when you become a channel member, it's five bucks a month, but you get access to private, more personal videos. It's kind of like how on like Patreon, you get private videos, but it's just here on YouTube. It's real convenient, it's real simple. There's a members only playlist. You can go check that out. If any of that interests you, feel free to become a channel member. With that said, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. And on the right side of your screen is a video you should click. It's a banger. I'll see you there. Take care.
Oh, and uh, remember the faction chest? Because we're faction five, we get to buy these chests. And hey, look at this. This is another, uh, that's 20k, that's another 20k, that's 20k, that's 60k. So we just made 60 more k silver, and we got some fame out of it too. So there you go.